welcome you all again for the thermodynamic lecture series so in this today's lecture we are going to solve some more problems on properties of pure substance in a constant pressure process so before getting into the problem so we need to know what is the state of the steam okay so there is the condition of the steam or the quality of the steam we need to identify so for that we all know that they are having three different conditions or quality of the steam is available the first one is wet steam and second one is dry steam and third one is your superheated steam okay so how these qualities are classified okay so this classification how these qualities are classified is detailedly explained in the previous lectures if you have any doubt you can go through the previous lecture okay so just i am recalling that so if we say the given specific enthalpy is lesser than the specific enthalpy of saturated vapor then it is called as a wet steam okay when a given specific enthalpy which is equal to saturated specific enthalpy of vapor then they are called as dry steam okay so here x value which is equal to 1 here okay then if if we say it is a superheated steam then the specific enthalpy of the saturated vapor is lesser than your given enthalpy okay so this will be applicable for your specific volume also okay for instance so specific the given specific volume is lesser than the saturated specific volume of the vapor then it is called as a wet steam when the given specific volume and the saturated specific volume of the gas which is equal they are called as dry steam when the saturated specific volume of the vapor which is lesser than your given specific volume then it is called as your superheated steam okay since the same condition will be applied for your specific entropy also when coming on your temperature we should say it is a saturation temperature okay so have you all know what is saturation temperature so at this point the phase changes will occur so in this saturation point the given temperature is lesser than your saturation point the steam will be of a wet steam then your given temperature which is equal to the saturation temperature then it is a dry steam then the saturation temperature is lesser than your given temperature then it is known as the state of the steam is your superheated steam then so based on the qualities wet steam dry steam and superheated steam we should know some of the basic properties and how to use the formulas for your basic properties okay so first one is your specific enthalpy the unit is kilojoule per kilogram if we say the steam is wet the condition is the given specific enthalpy is lesser than that of your saturated specific enthalpy then h is equal to hf plus x into hfg okay where h is your specific enthalpy at fluid uh, fluid state, liquid stage okay so this is your combination of both so liquid and gaseous vapor okay so x is nothing but your dryness fraction okay what is meant by dryness fraction that is the amount of that is the mass of uh, the mass of vapor present in the total mass of total amount of the steam okay so that is mg by m of plus mg okay x equal to mg by m of plus mg then if we say dry steam i already told that x equal to 1 you know, substitute your x equal to 1 then it becomes hfg okay so hfg can be written as hg minus hf so plus hf and minus hf will get cancelled again the term will be h is equal to hg here for superheated so h is equal to hg plus cp that is the constant pressure of the your superheated uh, temperature values then your t superheated minus your t saturation temperature the difference between your superheated and saturation temperature for specific volume again for a wet condition v is equal to vf plus x into vfg and for dry steam it is v is equal to vg and for superheated steam v is equal to vg into t soup by t saturation and also for your specific entropy s is equal to sf plus x into sfg where s equal to sg here for superheated s is equal to sg plus cps of lord into the ratio of T soup by superheated temperature divided by your saturation temperature and also work done so we also know that the flow work is equal to P into V so that is work done is equal to P into V for all the three cases but this volume the specific volume will be varied according to these three different conditions and also know the specific volume is instead of the reciprocal of your density or otherwise density can be written as 1 by your specific volume in all the three cases of your quality of the steam then the specific internal can be determined by h is equal to u plus pv relation 
So with this we can write u specific internal energy u is equal to h minus pv. So this h the specific enthalpy and the specific volume will be depend on these formulas. What are all the state of the conditions? So corresponding state of the conditions the signal energy will vary. But the formula for the internal energy for all the three cases are same. Okay. Problem 14. 10 kg of water of 45 degree Celsius is heated at a constant pressure. Okay, so here the process is about constant pressure and the given data, the mass of the water is mass is equal to 10 kg and the initial temperature T1 is 45 degree Celsius which is heated at a constant pressure of 10 bar. Okay, so it is a constant pressure of 10 bar. So we can write P1 is equal to P2 is equal to 10 bar until it becomes a superheated vapor at temperature. That is superheated temperature is given. Okay, so that is in the second stage the superheated in the second stage the condition of the steam is superheated and the temperature is T2 is equal to 300 degrees Celsius. We need to find out the change in volume and changes in enthalpy and also change in internal energy and entropy we need to find out. Okay. So that is delta V, delta H, delta U and delta S we need to find it out. Here the mass is given so I am writing it is not specific here they are about volume, enthalpy, internal energy and entropy that is not about your specific you find out your specific volume and multiply with your mass right. So the first case temperature T1 is equal to 45 degree Celsius and also water okay so since it is water is given okay so since the water is given so we have to take it off the fluid. So in the problem itself they have said the initially the condi the initially the condition is water and the final state it is steam. Okay, so the water is converted into steam here, right? So at 45 degrees Celsius you take it is fluid. This is for water. If it, this is for fluid. So we can take Bf1 is equal to V1 and Hf1 is equal to H1 and Sf1 is equal to S1. Okay, so you take direct values. Then at pressure P2 is equal to 10 bar, okay, so at P2 is equal to 10 bar, you take a saturation temperature 179.9. So we already know because since uh, the problem itself, they have said that it is superheated. So for here also, for my understanding, so for your understanding, I am checking the condition again. So at 10 bar, it is 179.9 degrees Celsius, which is lesser than your given temperature. So that is the condition of the steam is superheated here. Again, so at your superheated table for your specific volume, Okay, so at 10 bar pressure and 300 degree Celsius, you take the V2 value as 0 0.2580 meter cube per kilogram. And in a similar way, from your specific enthalpy of your superheated steam table, at pressure P2 is equal to 10 bar and temperature T2 is equal to 300 degree Celsius, you can take H2 is equal to 3052.1 kilojoule per. In a similar way, you can take entropy also. So at your from the steam table, specific entropy of your superheated steam table at 10 bar pressure and your temperature T2 is equal to 7.125 sorry temperature is 300 degree Celsius at this point you can take S2 is equal to 7.125 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin we need to find out changes in volume okay so here so in the previous cases we all find out your the specific volume here is also we find out the specific volume but the question they have asked about volume changes in volume okay so you have to multiply with your mass okay so specific volume unit is meter cube per kilogram so you multiply with mass what it will happen so kilogram into meter cube per kilogram so kilogram kilogram will get cancelled then your unit of the volume will be meter cube okay so the changes in volume will be v2 minus v1 into mass okay so mass is 10 kilogram is given so substitute those values to get the changes in volume is 2.5699 meter cube so in a similar way change in enthalpy change in internal energy we can find it out so for change in enthalpy mass into your differences of your specific enthalpy so this specific enthalpy also we have find out in the previous slides so substitute those values to get the changes in enthalpy as 28637 kilojoule and change in internal energy so change in internal energy can be written as the difference between your specific internal energy into your mass right again u2 can be written as h2 minus p2 v2 and u1 can be written as h1 minus p1 v1 substitute all those values here one point we have to keep it remember that is here because h is in kilojoule per kilogram from the steam table so we have to substitute this pressure and this pressure in terms of kilopascal so this is very very important so you have to do this okay then change in internal energy will be 26,067.1 kilojoule then change in entropy so change in entropy as delta s which is equal to 
that is the difference between your specific internal energy into your mass and we know all the values so substitute all those values to get the change in entropy as 64.87 kilojoule per kelvin okay so here you observe this we have multiplied mass so there is no per kilogram that is we need to very very important in this problem okay so as a result we have find out the change in volume change in enthalpy and change in internal energy and change in entropy for your given constant pressure process so problem number 15 2 kg of steam initially at 5 bar and 0.6 dry okay so 2 kg of steam here the mass of the steam is 2 kg initially at 5 bar so pressure p1 is equal to 5 bar okay and 0.6 dry so in the initial condition it is the dryness fraction is given so it is wet heated at constant pressure okay so the problem is also a constant pressure so we can take this 5 bar as p1 is equal to p2 is equal to 5 bar until the temperature becomes 350 degrees celsius okay so how long it is getting heated if the temperature is getting about 350 degrees celsius find the change in entropy and internal energy we need to find out that is delta s and delta u here is also mass is given so you have to find out your specific entro entropy and you have to multiply with mass and also you have to find out your specific internal energy and you have to difference it with multiply with mass you will get change in internal energy so for that from your pressure table okay so from your pressure table at pressure p1 is equal to 5 bar so we can take because the condition of the steam is wet is given that x1 is equal to 0.6 so we can directly take the values so for that i have taken hf and hf g1 vf vf g1 and sf and sf g1 so all the values i have taken from the table here okay then i can directly find out your specific volume so v is equal to v1 which is equal to vf1 plus x into v of g1 okay so this v of g1 can be written as vg minus v1 v of 1 vg1 minus v of 1 substitute all those values this x1 is equal to 0.6 which is given in the problem so substitute all those entities you get the specific volume v1 is 0.22523 meter cube per kilogram and your specific enthalpy is h1 is equal to hf1 plus x1 into hf g1 and hf1 and hf g1 are taken from the steam table at constant pressure table then x1 is given so substitute all those values to get h1 is equal to 1004.54 kilojoule per kilogram and the similar way we can find out the specific entropy so s1 is equal to sf1 plus x1 into sfg1 so we know all the values of your specific entropies from the table and substitute those values to get 4.8354 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin in the similar way we can find out the specific internal energy that is specific internal energy can be find out from the relation h is equal to u plus pv so we can write u1 is equal to h1 minus p1 v1 so h1 we know so p1 and v1 so p1 is given but we have to substitute the pressure in terms of kilopascal here because the h in terms of kilojoule per kilogram here okay right then you can get the specific internal energy u1 is equal to 1790.92 kilojoule per kilogram so at the state 2 again from your pressure table p2 is equal to 5 bar since it is a constant pressure process the temperature is also given so we have to take p2 is equal to 5 bar and you take the saturation temperature the saturation temperature is 151.8 degree celsius the saturation temperature is lesser when compared to your given temperature then t saturation is lesser than t2 so the condition of the steam is superheated at the second state okay then we can go for your superheated table right so at your specific volume of your superheated table at pressure p2 is equal to 5 bar and temperature t2 is equal to 350 degree celsius here you can take the specific volume of v2 is 0 0.5701 meter cube per kilogram then at pressure p2 is equal to 5 bar and temperature t2 is equal to 350 degree celsius so we can take the specific enthalpy from your superheated table as h2 is equal to 3168.1 kilojoule per kilogram and in the similar way we can take the specific entropy from your superheated table and p2 is equal to 5 bar and temperature t2 is equal to 350 degree celsius we can take s2 is equal to 7.634 kilojoule per kilogram then we can find it out u2 okay specific internal energy u2 which is equal to h2 minus p2v2 then if this p2 will be substituted in the terms of kilopascal you will get u2 is 2 3.05 kilojoule per kilogram in the problem they ask about change in entropy right so delta s can be written as mass into your specific entropy okay so the specific entropy as we have find out so you substitute the given mass is given as 2 kilogram then your change in entropy delta s is equal to 5.5972 kilojoule per kilo and change in internal energy delta u is equal to m into u2 minus u1 
Okay, so mass is given and your specific internal energy we have find out from the previous slide. So substitute those values to get the change in internal energy delta U is equal to 2182.26 kilojoule. So as a result, we have find out the change in entropy delta S is equal to 5.5972 kilojoule per Kelvin and change in internal energy as delta U is equal to 2182.26 kilojoule. Thank you.